Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here behind the camera to show you all of Samsung's latest foldable and wearable devices, including the new Galaxy Z Flip 4, the Z Fold 4, the Galaxy Watch 5 and 5 Pro, and the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Next. Let's start with the new Galaxy Z Flip 4. As you can see, the physical design is very similar to the Flip 3, but Samsung has refined a number of things to improve durability and the overall experience, including the use of a slimmer hinge and straightened edges all around. The Galaxy Z Flip 4, which will be available in four colors, Bora Purple, Graphite, Pink Gold, and Blue, features a 6.7 inch FHD Plus Dynamic OLED 2X Infinity Flex main display, with a 22 by 9 aspect ratio, up to 120 hertz refresh rate, and a native resolution of 2640 by 1080. There's also a 1.9 inch Super AMOLED cover screen with a 260 by 512 resolution that's accessible when the device is folded. We should also note that Samsung will be offering the Galaxy Z Flip 4 Bespoke Edition, where customers can choose from various glass and frame color options, which will provide 75 combinations to choose from. Powering the new Flip 4 is Qualcomm's current flagship Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 mobile platform. That's paired to 8GB of RAM and up to 512GB of internal storage. Powering the device is a 3700 mAh battery and the whole shebang is IPX8 rated for water and dust resistance. As you would expect with the top of the line platform processor, the Galaxy Z Flip 4's performance is stellar. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is also more power efficient than its predecessor, which should bode well for battery life as well. Cameras on the Galaxy Z Flip 4 include a 10 megapixel selfie camera with f2.4 aperture and 12 megapixel ultra wide and wide angle rear cameras. The ultra wide camera features an f2.2 aperture and the wide angle camera has a brighter f1.8 aperture in addition to optical image stabilization and dual pixel autofocus. The camera app will look familiar to anyone that's used a Samsung device before, but there are a couple of additional wrinkles with the Z Flip 4. First is FlexCam. Partially folding the Galaxy Z Flip 4 activates FlexCam, which is optimized to capture images and video destined for social media platforms like Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook. Like previous gen Z Fold devices, the cover screen can also be used in conjunction with the main camera to use the quick shot feature for capturing photos and videos while the Z Flip 4 is perched somewhere pointing at the subjects. Pre-orders for the Galaxy Z Flip 4 start today and customers that pre-order between August 10th and 25th will receive a complimentary upgrade to double the internal storage, plus up to $900 off with an eligible trade-in and a silicone ring case or a strap case. Devices will be available on August 26, 2022 with Z Flip 4 prices starting at $999. Next up, let's take a look at the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Samsung is calling the new Z Fold 4 its most powerful smartphone yet, which is not surprising considering devices will feature 12 gigabytes of RAM with up to one terabyte of storage and Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Like the Z Flip 4, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 borrows its design cues from previous gen Z Fold devices, but the Z Fold 4 has also been refined to improve durability. The Galaxy Z Fold 4's front screen features a 6.2 inch HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X panel with a native resolution of 2316 by 904 and a 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is also packing a brighter 7.6 inch QXGA Plus main screen with a resolution of 2176 by 1812 a 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate, and a less visible under display camera featuring a new scatter type sub-pixel arrangement. The rear cameras have been upgraded as well with a 50 megapixel wide angle shooter with 30x space zoom, dual pixel autofocus, optical image stabilization, and an f1.8 aperture. 
There's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with f2.2 aperture and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with phase detect autofocus, optical image stabilization, and an f2.4 aperture. As you'd expect from a flagship device, performance is top notch. And we should also mention that this is the first device to ship with Android 12L, which is a special version of Android created and optimized by Google for large screen devices like foldables. The new taskbar feature provides a layout similar to a PC and gives users the ability to access their favorite and most recently used apps. And multitasking has been improved with swipe gesture support to more easily swap full screen apps into pop-up windows or to split the screen. All told, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 weighs in at about 263 grams. It carries an IPX8 water resistance rating and it's powered by a dual cell 4400 milliamp hour battery. Pricing for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will start at $1799 and it will be offered in four colors, gray green, beige, phantom black, and burgundy, but the burgundy option is a Samsung.com exclusive. And like the Z Flip 4, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will be available August 26th. Which brings us to the new Galaxy Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro. The Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro are powered by Samsung's own Exynos W920 dual-core 1.18 GHz processor and feature 1.5 GB of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, and IP68 ratings for water and dust resistance. Both smartwatches also run Wear OS 3.5, customized with Samsung's One UI Watch version 4.5, which should look familiar to anyone that's previously owned a Galaxy Watch. The Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro are also equipped with Samsung's Bioactive Sensor, which combines three health sensors in one, optical heart rate, electrical heart signal, and bioelectrical impedance, which can provide readings for things like heart rate, blood oxygen level, and even stress level. With an increased surface area and more direct contact with your wrist, the Galaxy Watch 5 offers more accurate biometric readings than the Galaxy Watch 4 and also provides more insights thanks to a new temperature sensor and the ability to monitor electrocardiograms right from your wrist. The Galaxy Watch 5 comes in two sizes, 44mm and 40mm, and it will be offered with a variety of bands and colors. The larger version packs a 410 milliamp hour battery, while the smaller model features a 284 milliamp hour battery. The Galaxy Watch 5 Pro features premium materials, including a titanium casing and more durable sapphire crystal that better resists any wear and tear. And the Watch 5 Pro also has the largest battery in any Galaxy Watch at 590 milliamp hours. That's actually 60% larger than the battery in the Galaxy Watch 4. Galaxy Watch 5 pricing will start at $279 for the Bluetooth version and $329 for the LTE version, while the Watch 5 Pro will start at $449.99, with availability starting on August 26th at Samsung.com. And finally, we have the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, Samsung's latest top-of-the-line earbuds. Galaxy Buds 2 Pro will be available in three colors, graphite, white, and Bora purple, and they feature IPX7 water resistance in addition to a handful of upgrades over previous gen buds. Galaxy Buds 2 Pro are outfitted with upgraded coaxial two-way speakers, yet have a more compact ergonomic design. They offer high dynamic range 24-bit audio, improved active noise canceling, and a new auto switch feature that lets the buds seamlessly transition across Galaxy smartphones, tablets, and even Samsung TVs. Samsung is claiming up to five hours of listening time with active noise canceling enabled on the Buds 2 Pro alone, or a total of up to 18 hours when factoring in power from the charging case. Disable ANC and battery life increases to eight hours on the Buds and up to 29 hours, including the case. Galaxy Buds 2 Pro will be available for pre-order for $229 starting today with retail availability on August 26th, just like all of the other products we showed you in this video. And that just about wraps it up. We hope you've enjoyed this quick hands-on look at all of Samsung's latest foldable and wearable devices. Do us a solid and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to stop by hothardware.com for tons of comprehensive tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta. Thanks for stopping by.